just on go, 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 hey, we just on go, 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 yeah, we just on go, 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 let's go, whoa, every day's my last, boy, I'm getting to it, people said I changed, now I'm speaking different, yo, welcome to another episode of the Hip Hop Advocate Show, I'm John Figs, yo, it's that our music, and the rock, yo, today's guest, man, we got a legend in the building, you know what I'm saying, Corona Queens, native a legend you know what i'm saying on the battlefield you know what i'm saying not even battling just severing heads you know what i'm saying over 130 battles you know what i'm saying come on man gladiator style yo you know what i'm saying we got dna in the building what up baby yo yo yeah. yo what's the word what's the word what's the word yo thank you for coming man nah, no doubt no doubt oh man it's gonna is i feel like um i feel i feel like i'm proud of you brother like yeah, yeah, everything yeah. you've been able to accomplish it's, it's been it's been crazy just watching you just triumph over you know time and again yeah what it, well, um what got you into music like from the beginning uh what got me into music well i was like 11 and my uncle uh this should have sound like kind of foreign to i guess kids growing up now but my uncle used to sell like bootleg cds and dvds mm. and uh when it was like a winner and he i came to my crib with a um g-unit mixtape Okay. And I, I told my mom, like, give him the $5 for it. And once he gave her the money, I just heard started hearing wild, like, 50 Cent and Lloyd Banks freestyles. And from that point on, I started, like, saying all of the Lloyd Banks freestyles to everybody <laughs> acting like it was mine. Yo, it's funny you say that because that's how, like, most niggas start. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody yeah, start, yeah. like, you know, you start, you know, like, when you're young, you start practicing the lyrics of the people you, like, you, you, like, yeah. you want you, yeah. you admire. Yeah, so that's how I started, and then, like you know, being a kid, you're not figuring it all out. You just like, yo, I'm gonna go steal this shit, and niggas is gonna go crazy. <laughs> and then the same freestyle, <laughs> then the same freestyle is played on the radio. So Damn. niggas look at me like, ah, oh, that's not yours. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. So from that moment on, that's what made me want to start writing my own shit, just because of that. Like, damn, it's, you know, what I'm saying that feeling was really what inspired me to like, yo, watch. Y'all think I can't do this? I'm gonna come up with some of my own shit. And then I just started freestyling from that point on. Yo, one of the, I gotta say, one of the illest off top, you know what I'm saying? I think the only, the only brother that could do that in Corona like that is off the mental. You know what I'm saying? That off, oh, off the mental. Off shout the out mental. To off the shout mental. out, that's, that's big bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, just off the top for hours and hours. And your rebuttals are crazy too, nah, man. Nah, good looking, good nah, looking. Nah, then you the king of rebuttals though. Good looking, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate with the, that. With the battle shit. And, um, I remember seeing you like, man, you know, 15 in the parks, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just battling. 143. Like, 143, yeah. fucking uh, <laughs> about 227 over there. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, damn, he's, so you started real young with this. Yeah, I started rapping since 11. So you started at 11 battling, just out in the streets. Just yeah, my first battle was 11 in my damn. junior high school in 227. Wow. You rest 227 too? Yeah, I went to 227. I went yeah, rest, rest in peace uh, was this guy named CJ. And um, he he had watched Eight Mile used to come through with the hoodie like Eminem, white wow. boy. Wow! And uh, he was he was he was killing me in every battle we had, like, cause I was like eleven and that nigga was like fourteen in the seventh grade. He kept getting left back, so he was scorching. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I'm saying he was scorching me. He was just trying to do that just to eat you up, Riley. Like, yeah, yo. no, no, but I was asking for it. Like, like he was at a point like, chill, chill, chill. You're not ready, and I kept coming back like, nah, I'm gonna catch you. So he was battling, 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 and then um, he used to win. We used to battle like every lunch period. I couldn't fuck with him, and then it was a school dance, and then the school dance, every grade was at the dance, and then um, like my peoples that was um in his grade. They was like, yo, battle him now, battle him now. Ooh. So, so I'm kind of like, I never went against this guy. I'm good. And then, <laughs> but it was just the pressure. Of everybody being there, I said, fuck it. And um, yeah, that, that's like that's that was the first time I beat him because I said a line about um, I was like um, some some I could kill you with th like three times. This um, I could kill you with three rhymes. This nigga's dumb. He got left back like three he times. <laughs> but at, but at that point, like everybody in the place went crazy because they all knew that. That was like the first time I beat him. That was like my first win in a battle. And then from then on, I, I just kept I kept battling. People. That's when you realize the harder you fucking stab. Yeah, the more the more you make the crowd no, go no, crazy. No, 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 and another thing too is like I was honorable. So when I like every battle I lost battling somebody was because I was really freestyling, but I didn't learn the tricks of the trade. Like, mm. all right, you got to stash yeah. some punchlines, some premeditated bars, because that's what he was doing. 
And then a, the next battle that I lost was against a dude named Childs from Corona. Oh, big up to Childs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was doing the same thing. He was doing Which heavy, was nothing though. wrong with him. Yeah. So he had his four go to. I throw your yeah. lungs in the air so you can catch your breath. Woo! Kick, yes, that kick was his go to shit. On the curb so you can kick some knowledge. He had all those in the tuck. Yeah. So while I'm just going and going, you know, when you freestyling, you searching. I may start here and then. By the time I, it might take me all the way till I see the picture over there yeah. to land a punch, but he got his shit in the tuck. So that's how niggas was beating me. And then I learned, all right, cool. I'm going to have my go tos. So, mm. so, so that, that, that's, that's how that yeah. worked for me. That's ill, man. Wow. I, I, I got to say this story, though. I remember one time I was coming back to my block, 107, and you pulled up on me, brother. You came through with like seven dudes. And you was like, yo, I heard you do music. And I'm like, yeah, I do music. And you're like, yo, we're battling right now. Word? I don't even remember <laughs> that. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. That's and, uh, and I was straight honest. I was just like, look, I could probably ba battle you in songwriting or making beats, but I'm not a freestyler. Like, yeah. I can't go off the top like that. And you were like, all right, I respect that. You shook my hand and you just walked off yeah. looking for somebody else to kill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. That was like most of my days growing yeah. up, though. I was definitely always looking to battle. Always yeah. looking to battle. Yo, but... um. He invited you tonight because tonight is, he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't ready. I'll be like, nah, I ain't ready. <laughs> Yo, but you was out there like a fucking lion, bro, looking for prey. I remember in the parks, like I said before, in the parks, just street corners, go to neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've seen you. I've seen shit almost getting ugly. You know what I'm saying? At times at the yeah, parks and yeah, shit. Of Motherfuckers couldn't handle it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yo, you, that's how it goes, they got into their feelings, right? Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's the he's the go hard and shit. Still does, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all the time. Now, have you have you have you ever encountered like any drama because of like a nigga couldn't handle what you what you served him? I mean, yeah, all, all the all, yeah, all the time. You know, you know, it's a sport like rap in general, hip hop in general is a sport of poking your chest out. Who you know what I'm saying ego and pride. So mm -hmm. you know when, when you trying to always do that, like me, I just like I, I know myself. So it, it, it's been situations and battles with somebody. Uh, I uh, feel like I didn't react the way they wanted to, but I know the end goal. I know a bunch of people want to do this shit for the camera, and then they still wind up shaking hands or it gets resolved behind the scenes, and nothing ever comes to mm -hmm. like where people think it'll go. So I'm like, let's just skip. Let's go. Let's skip that. Let's skip yeah, the yeah, acting and yeah. just yep, go yep. to exactly. the end of result, which is we came here to rap. So, because if it's like anything else, like I've always been a firm believer, if I if I have so much animosity towards somebody, I won't rap with them because exactly. it's no point. We might as well just handle it in the other way. So yeah, I, I don't get caught up in it, but yeah, every you know a lot of people sign themselves up for shit that they can't handle. Word, That's word. The, you know now. Taking that stage right now, you in the streets, you battling people, knowing yo, kid DNA is nice. When was the leap? You say yo, I'm gonna take this shit to the mainstream, like battle rap shit. Word, oh, word. that shit was by accident. So what happened is, I had like, like I want to say like seven or eight mixtapes by the time I was 16. Wow. I used to just battle like, cause that's what I like to do. But my main thing was recording music, and my producer AJ, we used to record like almost every day, every day. I get home that's the only place my mom would allow me to go without it being a hassle because she knew him and um for the better of his family he had to move he had to move he used to be on 111 and 39th in corona everybody used to record their cream young don mm. um you think of damn near anybody that rapped in corona they yeah, yeah, away yeah. AJ. i went out there a couple times yeah yeah yeah. or oh, everybody Charles, everybody yeah. under the sun recorded there and he had to move so when he moved i kind of felt like i was stuck like, what was I going to do? And, um, you know, I was always familiar with Smack DVD, but that kind of had died out. And it was grind time at the time. Um, and rest in peace to PH, Pumpkinhead, because mm. that's the person that ever gave me the opportunity to showcase my talent. I hit him up on MySpace. And I sent him a video, and he gave me a tryout battle. And then I wound up losing the tryout to uh, somebody, uh, my man named Amzilla. But the people was, and this is another thing, right? So it's like. I learned lessons as I went on to get to where I'm at being the battle rapper I am now. Because when I battled Amzilla, I was able to freestyle, but I was so always torn by always trying to freestyle and it didn't work because people had shit premeditated. Yeah, I decided yeah. to stick to my written. He went with all freestyling. That's why he wound up winning. Because in the moment, oh. everything was hitting. Oh, now, of course, shit. when people watch it back, they everybody feels like I won. It's on YouTube right now. But in the building, his strategy worked. Mm. So that was like something I learned too, like how how do I intertwine both? 
but the judges, which was uh, Ian Solomon, Cortez, Wave Sever, and Sarah Connor, they felt like wow. what I did was so impressive. They still put me in ground time. Wow, That's That's dope, dope, damn. So that that that, and then and then from there, the rest was history. I did my ground time battles. Then eventually, I wound up battling um, Um P, and that was my first URL battle. Then, yeah. So we we got um. We asked a few of uh, like our viewers. We we told them you were gonna be on today, uh-huh. and they they had one like question that they wanted to ask, and it was why are you not on uh, Summer Madness? Uh, I'm not on Summer Madness because you know it's a business. At the end of the day, as much as people, you know, a lot of times people want albums to happen, and you know what I'm saying with certain artists and they don't happen, and you know as a fan or a supporter. You really don't care about the logistics. You just want what you want. So people want to see me battle this guy named Real Sick right now. But um, URL, as a business, they they like it's like a reputation. I got battling new people. Mm. Like I, it gets bad. Like they, you know, what I'm saying they don't want to be in the same. Got to do repackage. <laughs> no, fuck up the, you fuck nah, up the message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> nah, because you know what it is. It's like with any sport when you first start tasting fame, mm-hmm. it's a high, it's a drug. So a lot of times artists don't understand like they're going to love you, they're going to hate you and you'll be lucky enough if you figure out how to make them love you again. They just go off when they love you. So a lot of times they they want to see it happen. So they'll go, oh yeah, I want this guy to battle DNA. He can beat him, he can beat him. And then when it doesn't go the way and I crush him, the same people that wrote that will go back and write, I knew you wasn't ready for DNA. I knew you couldn't beat him. And now they don't know how to adapt to that because they only used to love, love, love. So when it switches, it's hard for a lot of them to recover, and yeah. URL real realized that. So they not even though the artists they they'll be ready. Like real sick is ready to battle. If it was up to him, we would be on the car. But URL, like I'm, I'm saying, they know like it's not gonna go well. Mm. So, so they, they don't want to set it up on that car. <laughs> you just broke it down right now, yo, for everybody. Not fast. Shit. I heard it right here. You heard? Yo, yo, live <laughs> exclusive, freestyler to freestyler, East and West, King Los. Oof, that'll be crazy. Yeah, I would. You wouldn't do it? No, it wouldn't be crazy. What? Nah. I'd be bad for him. It wouldn't be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I wouldn't be good. I'm being serious. You know why? Because he's not a battle rapper. He's not. Nah. He's you know what not. I'm saying he, he, he raps. Yeah, and he... his his like it's like it's like people people like I said, rap is a thing of ego. The best people you're gonna ever see in anything is people that know how to distance themselves away from their ego and pride. And look at things at face value. Not too many people could do that. Everybody's mm-hmm. full of themselves. So heavy. Damn, so so they're not Big able. Time. So they're not able to assess the situation for what it really is. They assess the situation of I'm this and I'm great instead of looking at what do I need to do to win. That's why people always say like, yo, when you count DNA out, he wins. Because I, I'm I'm very self aware, so I understand what what needs to be done to do this. Like all the people he's battled, uh, he battled. Uh, his first battle was supposed to be against Daylight. It got canceled. He wound up battling Head Ice. That was a random battle. So they really didn't have that much time to prepare. When he did battle Daylight, they're friends. So it's really not a battle. It's like my man raises here. If somebody offers us a bunch of money, yeah, we'll get on stage and rap. But we're not going to battle. Yeah. He's going to go. I'm going to go. And then we're going to walk away with the money. Yeah. The bag. So that's kind of what it was. They wasn't battling. <laughs> like I'm saying if we, we're going to battle. Like no, I'm saying, gonna, really gonna go at it? Yeah, like so I'm gonna have no. And then a lot of times, you know what it is? A lot of people they're fans of them. So when they watching them, they're just oh shit! This is King Los. This is the nigga that I watched the free. They're happy to be there. I always tell people you it's a battle before the battle. Mm. Anytime you got too much respect for the person you got to go against, you already put yourself at a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. So with me, it's like You're gonna hold back. Nah, yeah, we don't got any personal issues, but I just don't respect what you do. Like you're not. Yeah, it's a reason why the battle is not set up. I say that. Uh, and if it do get set up, then everybody will see w- what I'm saying instead of just thinking, you know, I'm talking to sell the fight. But yeah, the champ he, is here. Nah, <laughs> I'm getting nah, hyped right nah, now. Nah, in all, rea- in all reality, he knows. That's why he'll just talk, and he won't he won't sign a contract because mm. everybody's ready. And and it's a good a it's a good some substantial amount of money to be made if he's willing to do it. But. He's at the same time he's full of himself. He's also smart. Like I'm not just the nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? You just he don't want to fuck up his image. Nah. <laughs> he don't want that L under his belt. Nah. Nah. He, the asylum. Nah, cause you that. know what it is. It's like 
it would be a regular L if he hadn't talked so much. Now that he talks so much shit, it's gonna hurt. Woo. And then I'm the type of nigga like I'm competitive. So after this over is my Instagram is gonna be dedicated to that. <laughs> that's why I'll be why I post shit that's gonna get him mad. So he don't wanna do that. <laughs> I seen you do some battles where shit got heated and it looked like yeah. somebody was fighting after the the yeah, show. But never, the, never. The theatrics probably, right? On their side. No, no, no. Like I said, it's very like Just hold me, the mic up. Yeah. Like me, I, I got a a lot of people won't notice. I got a bad temper, so I try my best possible not to ever get there. So it takes a lot to get me there. But sometimes other people don't know how to control themselves, and it gets heated. But nah, and I see, I see you be real cool, calm. And when niggas is coming at you, when it's day t- they shot, yeah, you yeah, stand you there, you come, you, yeah. you give a nigga a moment. I see you focus, you give a nigga time, and you're not putting too much mind. You a nigga getting in your face and all that. You staying calm and cool, cause yeah. at any minute, to me, when I'm watching them shits. And I be like, yo, how the fuck is nigga gonna snap on somebody? Like, <laughs> me, I'm quick to give a nigga a right hand. Yeah. Like, real fast. And I'm like, but yo, these battles are business. Like, yeah, that's professional. Intense. Professional shit. I feel, shit. I feel like the moment you do that, you lost already. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. You lose Because it's yeah. a mental game. Mm-hmm. So yeah. like, you lost right one, there, yeah. You're not outsmart me. I already know, I already know what this is. You playing chess. Nah, you yeah, playing yeah, chess yeah, in that yeah, motherfucker. It's, like, it's all theatrics. Mm-hmm. That's what it's about. So yeah. Giving the show, and that's a part of the show, yeah. entertaining and making the people fucking on edge. Like, oh shit, this is about to really go down there. Like, yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> All right, fellas. You know? So, uh, DNA, you took us to the beginning. Now let's talk about uh, the present. Now what's going on? Uh, that that album, bro, mm. Invictus, man. Um, what was what was uh, what was what was the theme behind it? Like, how you came up with it? Um. The album of Victus, I, I really recorded that uh, earlier this year. I had like two back-to-back battles. I battled Geechee Gotti, uh, January fifth, ninth, something like that. And then I wound up battling the Ave January twenty-third. Right after that, I flew to Atlanta. Me and Rain got up in the studio. Rain nine one zero. That's my producer, and we we just started recording because it had been almost a. Uh, like six seven months since i dropped my first album get money and drink water and we did that whole project in nine days wow that's crazy and, and then um and then we put it out in march and then um i just felt like because i had so much stuff going on i didn't get to promote it the way i wanted it to promote it so i was like i'm gonna re-release it uh with three new songs and then just put it on streaming platforms because when i usually put out my projects at the beginning you have to uh either dm me or go to the website to get it so then when I came back around this time, I'm like, well, I don't want to just rebrand the same package. So then I, I did the song with Ransom. I did the song with Pat Poos. And then I did um the Duty Free song. And then I added it to it. And then I re-released it and wound up shooting Mad Video. Yeah, that's wow, smart. Bro. That's smart, especially in, in today's age with the streaming. I know yeah. you broke down the streaming services, how they jip motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to do as an independent artist. But... um. That Delta variant, yo, with the fucking with ransom, that's a hard track, man. Nah, good looking, good looking. That's a hard track. I mean, the whole fucking project is ill, but given the fact that we dealing with the fucking Delta shit, you know what I'm saying? How do how you dealing? How you dealing with the fucking Delta shit, man? The Delta variant. Uh, (laughs) From Corona, right where you're immune. Ah, exactly. Nah, man. Um, (laughs) Nah. Uh, yo, it's it's a scary time, man, because people don't know. People really don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Um, you get on one side, you got people telling you to take the vaccine, you'll be okay. And then anytime somebody has bad side effects or they lose their life because of that, it's swept under the rug. Yeah. And then you know Ooh. the coronavirus, when you catch it that way, it's being blown out of proportion. So I mean, you really don't know. I mean, nobody knows what the real agenda is. We do know that it's serious. We do know that it's damaging people. Uh, a lot of people getting sick. Some people recover fine. Some people got lifelong things after it. And some yeah. people don't make it. So, uh, you know, just, you know, believe in whatever you believe in. God, the universe, science, whatever it is. Take care of yourself. And, you know what I mean? That, that's the only thing I can say. Because it's like, I feel like regardless of a virus or a pandemic or not, when it's time to check out, it's time to check out. It doesn't yeah. matter. Time is the yeah, best it's your thing. time. So I, th- that's what I keep in my mind when I'm moving. But at the same time, I'm not going to go to a strip club. I'm not going to hang out with 500 people because, you know, it's serious. The, your chances increase. But I got you. You, so still gotta, you, you still got to live life. You got to tell right. people straight up, get money and drink water, baby. Yeah. Get that's money. the healthiest shit you could do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your mind, your physical, all that. Yeah, all that counts. That's so, that's your brand, right? The get money, 
Drink water. Drink water. You know what I'm saying? So what was your initiative? Like, yo, I got to get, you know what I'm saying, the, the culture healthy. I, I took it like, yo, you were like, yo, it's time for us to get healthy. It's time for us to stop all this bullshit. Let's, let's focus on getting money together and drinking, and drinking that water game. I mean, nah, what it really was was just like the way I came up with the slogan was based on a bunch of people just hating. And when people was hating in the mm. comments, I just started telling them that because I looked at it like as beyond getting money and drinking water. It's a lifestyle. If you feel good about yourself, if you're putting the right things in your body, if you know you're paying your bills on time, you can live the way you want to, you're not going to have that animosity or just be bitter. Like a hater is somebody that's bitter because they're not happy or satisfied with the way things went for them. So then they look at everything that's wrong with somebody else. When you got shit going right for you, you're, it's easy. You can never be happy for somebody else until you're happy for yourself. So... When I started hitting people with that, the responses changed. And then I realized, all right, I'm on to something. Mm. And then I just, you know what I'm saying? I went with it. Then I started getting the shirts. Then I kept saying it because it's like a thing like, my nigga, if you're getting money and you're putting all the wrong shit in your body, it's fucking with your mind. That's why you're talking like this. <laughs> Kill him with kindness. Whoa. And, and if you're drinking water but you broke, that's fucking with your mind too because, you know what I'm saying, the first of the month is on every month. Every, every year, month, so that shit don't stop. the bills don't change. So it's like you got to be doing both at a, at an exceptional level, wow. and, and having that positive energy, and then you know you'll be alright. But a lot of niggas is one or the other, and some niggas, it's none. That's <laughs> bad. It's none. Damn, they dehydrated and they hating like a motherfucker. And they Why? Too much, yeah. juice. <laughs> Too much <laughs> juicing and being broke in the corner. Guys, but no I, money. I think we gotta dive into this album though because it nah, was this album sick, is man. crazy. Like there was, there's, a, I have a lot of questions I want to ask you. All right, let's get a it. A lot of songs that let's talk about the once upon a time joint bro how you come up with something like that i know you you flip some tragic events and you just you flipped it and you made it ill you were talking about um eric garner trayvon martin and i think there was one more person sandra bland no no it's six people it um uh the video people go watch it it starts over sandra bland then Eric Gardner, then Trayvon Martin, then Ahmaud Aubrey, then George Floyd, and then it ends off with Breonna Taylor. Mm. Now, the reason why I did that song is because I feel like you only wear, we're only the energy that we put out, right? Okay. So when we continuously are putting out that we're victims and that's the energy that's being put out and, and, and we keep re-watching somebody get need in their chest for however many minutes it was, seven or eight, whatever it was, we keep continue to watch our brothers, our sisters get shot and killed. It's psychological warfare. So they're, they're mentally training you to be defeated because that's all you keep watching. Mm -hmm. So then that's you. the energy that's being put out. That's what everybody after us, everybody that comes up with us is trained to believe. So I'm like, let me switch the energy. Let me put out the energy that we are heroes because regardless of the end of result all those people that lost their lives they are our heroes yeah so let's tell the story from a way of that's the energy we putting out they did what they were supposed to do so now it's not being instilled oh because it's a cop oh because it's a racist person oh we shouldn't do nothing no i'm a firm believer of and and, and it was a lot of controversy of people telling me not to do the song not to do the video because the message would get perceived as i'm saying killing cops and i was like no the message is if somebody's trying to take your life, it wouldn't matter what they are. We have to stop getting this out. The end of result is those six individuals lost their life. So what I'm saying is I'm not a revolutionary. I'm not uh, conscious. I don't even like those words. I'm a human being. I have different emotions. Different things run through my mind at different times. Well, one thing that is running through my mind is if that's the end of result, then I'm going to go out with a bang. If yeah, you try yeah, to kill yeah. me, cop, racist or whatever, I, I suggest everybody do the same thing. Protect Take yourself, them out. Yeah. Protect yourself. That's the message. And, and that's yeah, the message yeah, that I was putting out for that's people growing up. So the energy is that. The energy is that, yes, those people are heroes. But the way I'm telling this story, because seeing is believing. Until you talk about it and say it, it doesn't exist. So I'm saying it. The next time a cop decides they're not going to do their job, they should get their head blown off. The next time somebody that's racist decides that they're going to protest and stop somebody in the street and take it upon themselves to, you know what I'm saying, go against the law, the Constitution, they should die. Because it's, it, it keeps happening the same way. So Word. what are we going to do? 
everybody's just saying it and then i'm like if i do a song about it my song isn't gonna be sad as oh they died no my song is going to be empowering, empowering. so when you watch this exactly. you feel like yes this can happen this can be done and you're not going to be able to feel it or see it until i keep doing that Ooh. that's you know what i'm saying that, so that message yo. right there you put on that song should be that's the type of shit that should be out there yeah so the so what i'm saying is even if it takes 30 40 years 20 years for that to get a million views of people to keep watching it is there it's on the internet yeah. you can go to it whenever and whenever it does that should be what's continuing to be replayed in people's minds and stop watching it because i never watched it a lot of people ask me that did you watch the george floyd thing no yeah, because I, no, I'm no, not, no, I'm I, not I, even I, gonna I train myself I, I don't want to watch it yeah. You know what I'm saying? I heard about it. I know it's done. I know it's bad. I don't want to watch any of that. Watching my people see that happen graphically because that image is being instilled in your mind, yep. and, and that and that's what that's what they try to do a lot of times. Instilling time. so, fear. So, so yeah, so they instill fear. This is what will happen to you if you do yeah, this. Yeah. And then they make excuses and people fall for it. Like, and then you even got people of our own kind that'll go, "Oh yeah, but he was on drugs and he did that." But it's wow, still, it's still, nah. it's still. Yeah, they try to get yeah, beyond beyond that. that when has it ever been up to a cop to decide the fate? Why why do we have a jury then? Mm -hmm. For real. Why right. do we have a court system? The court system is there because if you feel like somebody committed a crime, it's not your job to take their lives or decide if their life should end. It's your job to arrest them, put them in front of the judge and jury, and then they decide if they're guilty or innocent. Exactly. So it wouldn't matter what somebody else did. You know what I mean? But And that's the part where I say people of our kind always get bamboozled and go, yeah, but they're right. He is a criminal, but that doesn't mean his life should be taken whether he committed a crime or not. Because what about the guy that shot up the movie theater mm. and they held him there? Or the other guy that shot up the church and they gave yeah. him water as the cops came? Yeah. Why Why they, yeah, why they didn't that. lose their lives the same way? Because we know what it's about. Yeah. So it's like, let's yeah. not turn it into anything else other than what it is. Wake the fuck up, America. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. That's why I really... That's why that song is in, that in-depth. Because it's like, to me... I don't know about nobody else. I can't create art like that unless I'm that passionate about it. So that's what that's where it came from. Wow. Yo, I'll Definitely tell you this much: with the society today, we needed a song like that. We needed a message that we could take it upon ourselves and not just that's be victims. That's definitely one of the realest ones that I've heard. Because that's something that's that's crazy. Shit going on that we were all thinking. We're all like, "Yo, damn! Imagine if yeah. they defend themselves." You know what I'm saying? Imagine they, they wouldn't lose their lives if they were, they had the chance or That's why you got but that's why you see shit on, on you know, out there that you see like cops like in the hoods like trying to arrest somebody and you see like people in the neighborhood like start bum rushing the cops. You, yeah. see, you see the abuse going on. Yeah. Like it's obvious yeah. fuck fuck that's a cop, motherfucker. You a, you a, you a person like the person you trying to fucking hold down as a person. Before that shit get too far, fucking the, the, the streets is gonna fucking play yeah. judge. Yeah, man. You know? And there's a. I wanted to talk to you about another joint too, um, the hood crazy joint, man. <laughs> that shit is that shit is dope, man. Yeah. I yeah. like the way you guys have those sound effects, like on the hook. Yeah. It, it just paints the perfect picture of the hood. Yeah. You the hear the gunshots, you hear the people crazy. screaming and everything. <laughs> and there's one. There's like two bars that I gotta tell. I gotta tell you right now about. It doesn't sound like much, but to me, it's a lot. I caught a boo boo. I cried and I told Miss Marie. Miss Marie was my neighbor. Yes, you know sir. What I'm Rest saying? in peace to Miss Marie. <laughs> Dude, she was a sweetheart. <laughs> that's how niggas know I'm not like. That's the thing too, right? <laughs> that's the thing too. Because when you first start writing rhymes, I felt victim of that too. You just want to say shit that rhymes. No, no not even that. You want to say shit that rhymes. You want to say shit that you heard. You want to say shit that sounds hot because that's all you know at the time. And two, you get to a point of yo, I want to say stuff. That's real that for me because I know life. somebody else went through it yeah. and it's going to resonate. And then, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what that song was. Like, now, of course, when I say it, everybody would be like, ah, you could have just made up a name. But you and everybody else that's from my block or from that place, for you know, sure, every bro. name that I'm saying, everything I'm talking <laughs> wow. about is 100% accurate because, that, you know what I'm saying? Rest in <laughs> peace to Miss Marie. And let's oh, not forget yeah. Miss Hill, yo. You said Miss Hill also. There you go. <laughs> Who, Rest she in was, peace, Miss Hill. She was always sitting outside in that white lawn chair. On the block. Oh, looking wow. at everything wow. that's going on. <laughs> She's seen it all. Everything I You know? Wow. So, so I'm, hear, I'm was, hearing yeah. your album. I'm hearing that. And I'm like, yo, this is my childhood. This is my block. Yeah. Like, yo, this is so ill. 107. Yeah. 107 yeah. is a legendary block. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong on there. Yo, and the whole song, it was this. Ray's nose, it was a nigga named Terra. Terra. This nigga was Terra. You remember Terra? I'm trying to remember right now. This nigga lived. In, you you remember Terra, right, Ray? This nigga used to look like 
blade like wesley snipes yeah, yeah. he used to have dreads the black glasses on and he was crazy he was killing he was stat, like doing all type of shit. yeah I remember. you know what i'm saying and niggas n- yeah niggas used to be told every time you see him go inside i'm telling you how to do that go inside Northern. across the street yo i remember go inside I'm, across the street yeah. go inside. i was just about to say terror was bugging out yo was the killing what the yeah fuck? man yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, I saw man. It. that was one of my like for me just to just to paint that picture and know everybody that's from my area when they hear that they gonna be like oh shit i remember that so that's that like you i thought it was a good song but you being there saying that it, it brings more like it holds more weight to me yeah, yeah, because it's, it's like yeah it, it brought back it yeah. brought back like the good memories i had on the block because 107 we were all cool it was a community of people yeah. we all loved each other we yeah. looked out for each other and just by you saying those names it just brought up mad memories yeah. of me on the block just chilling with everybody playing football yeah danny you know yeah. like you know my little brother lee like yeah everybody's just chilling camaraderie shit, yo yeah so That's i really fact. appreciate that song man it, it i feel like anytime you do something or you listen to something or you watch a movie and it brings emotion then that's a good piece of yeah. art, bro. Yeah. Like to me, a good album is when you could pull multiple. And 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 from a rapping standpoint, both of my albums, Get Money and Drink Water and Evictus is good. But Evictus is better to me because I pull more emotions. It's not yeah. just one. Like every song is I'm I'm taking something else from. One track I really like is uh that go. Yeah, that yeah. Shit, that shit ringing my head. Son, this shit been ringing in my head all the day. The flows, today. right? He's just playing with them flows. They're different flows. All yeah. over them. I got really. But you know what's crazy too? That's a lot of credit to having a producer. A lot of artists are not produced. A lot mm-hmm. of artists just go off SoundCloud, go off of YouTube, and get a bunch of beats, and then they have an album and they have a mixtape. Mm-hmm. And then you can you can see talent in that. But no matter how talented an artist is, you always hear the best version of them when they're produced yep because if you leave it up to me you you might get 10 delta variants and one or two other songs see you but, and you laid that one out perfectly though because you the verses you were at a, at a certain pace and then like a few bars in then you picked it up you go quick with, with the flow. it yeah Your but no flow. what i'm, what I'm saying bah, bah, bah. is like just me being such a bar heavy artist i would pick a beat like delta variant 12 times his whole album would have been that's yeah, yeah, no, no, I, I know what you're Rapping saying I know what you, I know because what you i have a that. producer like rain is he, he just stows that beat on yo but with the three six mafia bounce yeah All right, yeah, yeah we want to cut this. you off but rain speaking of rain he's bought heavy too super he's a scary person to be in the I studio seen him in, um um <laughs> back in the day right. with sway yeah k slay yeah he's a dangerous wow man. beast lyricist yo and, and that's yeah. another thing too aside from him being a producer and he's just giving me different sounds to go off of to bring out different energy from different places it's three verses that we got on there where he's rhyming and yeah. it's like after hearing him rap i gotta go to the highest level i'm gonna look crazy wow. <laughs> <laughs> it, it could Can't be him I'll shine you, right? yeah it could be halfway okay if he smoked me on his album yeah. it's his it's mine so i had to get in a different can't do bag. that uh the eminem sure, eminem killed you on your own shit type shit right? yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely not wow now nah, but the, that joint is hard too that yeah man yo, y'all, y'all gotta see you gotta hear that album man yeah yo, and the, just for that um you we gotta just see, you gotta see it because when you listen you picture and everything how that's many as ill how many videos you got because i i did see the videos. one way so far right now we got four videos and i got three more in the tuck Oof. so one way videos out raise your goo videos out yeah, raise your goo, i yeah. just dropped the letter to my mom video the day before i redropped the mm. album and once upon a time in america that video has been out since last year mm. wow man and i got three more uh that's that's in the tuck to be released yeah, too yo so we, we 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 had a we wanted to celebrate we got a little a uh, little bottle for you um, yeah. rose what's you know up what saying? You, yeah. you want a toast you, yeah, let, let's on, celebrate this bro Shabing. That's, that's, that's yours right there, man. Thank you, thank you. Word up, yo. Everybody salute. Salute in the Gatorade bottle. Put it in the Gatorade bottle. <laughs> salute. Salute, yeah, man. salute. It, it, it's just a pleasure to have everybody over here and just... Definitely, man, definitely. See, that's Corona crazy. Heavy, that's crazy, got. like, you mentioned that, like, the, those tracks, though, like, people from huh? the block, like... People that y'all knew and that, like you know, looked out for y'all. Like, that's just you know that brings it more like it brings it more to reality. And it's more exactly. personal, more for me, personal. You know, it touch home, man. We I, got, used to, I used to see DNA 
you know, with his mom's, you know, he was always like looking out for his mom's. Like she would be shopping and the groceries, like he would be carrying the bags for her. Like you was all, you always out of her back. You was always there helping her out. That's what I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, salute, my brothers. Salute, Yo, salute. Invictus. Invictus, baby. Yo, now, go get that on Wall Street. Check that out. Check that out. Y'all yeah, heard? Right album now, of the year. Right now. Yo, album of the year. Yo, I'm telling you, right there, yo. I like that. Bugs. I like that. That's I can't say that because it's my body. Work. Nah, album yeah. of the year. Tell them yeah. for Yo, Nas, Nas came out for last you. week, but yo. That right there is head to head, my nigga. Like, yo. I think Invictus is, is what? Top, yeah, it's on top. <laughs> it's, on top. <laughs> it's on top. And then you Say came out. Then he came with that joint. Um, you yo, you you play with 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 the song so much. You have different themes, like the one uh, that fill in the blank. Yeah. Wow. Like I haven't heard a song like that before. Yes, yeah, that's creative. You're being creative with it, bro. Yo, you. you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to know what's so crazy with that? It's like. I, I, like that's something that always was distinct to me. Like everybody could make a girl song, everybody could rap because there's a lot of good lyricists out there. I'll be lying if I said that it's not. But it's like we're it's a rare thing to see people step out that box and do songs like "Once Upon a Time in America," yeah. uh, "Letter to My Mom," "Fill in the Blanks." So it's just about being creative. And then, like I said, having a producer like Rain. We in the studio. He came up with the uh, with the con like the concept. He was like, "Yo, you should do a song filling the blanks." I'm like, "Oh, like this?" And he like, "How'd you know?" I'm like, "Yeah, I always thought to do it, but I didn't." Wow. And he threw on the beat. And what's so crazy? What people not gonna know is the f I wrote six verses to that song. What the fuck? The first three verses I wrote was so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would have got the blinks. Wow. And and and, and 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 this this is what really makes what made me better as an artist is because when you're dealing with somebody like Rain, like the first thing we, we had a conversation because aside from working together, we're brothers. So the conversation is needed because it's always hard to mix business with pleasure. So the com first conversation we had, and people would think the conversation is about money. It wasn't. The conversation was in the midst of us recording and working together is no emotions. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So I'm like, all right, cool. Take it personal. So easier said than done. Because when I do those three verses and he walks, he walks in the room. Ah, oh, that's not it. And walks out the room. That's how it's supposed, yeah, that's to, be. That's supposed to be. And I'm, I'm just stuck People there, like, yeah, it's kind so of that, rough. So, that, so then he comes back. He's like, nah, I mean, nah, you can keep the verses. You just uh, me. I'm already. I don't like that. Nah, it's over. He like, so you just gonna scratch them? They all gone. Don't worry about <laughs> it. He comes back 30 minutes later, and then. That's what that's 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 the song everybody heard. Wow. And he's like, yo, he's like, yo, so why you why you didn't do that the first time? I'm like, cause in my <laughs> mind, before I actually cause now when I what Ray said it's key, cause when I performed it, it's the perfect song to perform. Yeah. That that song, that song, no matter what arena I'm in, wherever I'm at, if you're a fan of hip hop, I'm gonna rock the building when that comes yeah. on. Yeah. But me just recording it as a lyricist, I'm like, I'm this is simple. So that's why my first verses was more but I'm like, but, I, but then I gotta remember, I'm I'm writing it for me. I'm gonna be able to get it, but I gotta write it for a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the universal song. Yeah. So now the way it is, anybody, I set it up, I bait you in, so you know. And then um, once I did it, when we re-released the album, wow. um, I seen what Pat Poose has been doing this year. He's been dropping a project every month. And he kind of started because before I was recording albums, I used to just do these type of concept freestyles on the grant. Like I'll rap in Spanish in my yeah, barbershop. Yeah, or I'll, sure. um, I'll do a movie theme freestyle, or the show Men in shit, Black, uh, or all type of shit. 50 Cent shit. Yeah, so Kana, or, the, or the power recaps, the whatever, power, always yeah. concepts. So when I seen Pat Poos doing it, I'm like, this is the perfect record. I need him wow. on this. How you linked up with him? Yo. I tell you a crazy story. Papoose used to, <laughs> right? I used to be a heavy gambler, so of course I knew who Papoose was, because he was around when I was coming up. And I'm saying I was a fan, alphabetical slaughter. But when I started gambling, he was in there every night. So we start building a gambling bond. 
Like, yo, I'm down, yeah, I'm down, boom, 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 talking. And I wasn't doing music at the time, so that's how I already knew them, because we was both gambling. If you listen to his verse, he, he, t- he says it on there. Mm-hmm. I got a gambling problem. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm oh, saying? Shit. So this is how niggas know all this shit is factual. And uh, Rain was supposed to send him some beats. And when Rain went to um, send him the beats, Rain like, yo, look who I'm here with, Pat. He like, oh, shit, DNA, what up? I'm like, what up? I'm like, yo, I got something for you. I see what bag you've been in. So he like, bet, send it to me. I sent it to him. He was like, oh, this shit is crazy. Wow. I jumped on it. Nah, y'all killed yeah. it. I both y'all killed, killed, killed it. Y'all killed it. Nah. Nah. Two, two ill lyricists on yeah. that track like yeah, that? Yeah, that was fire. Shout out to Pat. It's, it's easy to do a song. You, you got an ill beat and then two people do verses. It's easy, but yeah. when you got a theme like that, yeah. you really got to think, think about yeah. it. Because you know what verse. it is? Just hearing about it, a bunch of people say, ah, oh, that's easy. I could do it. Mm, Until you got to yeah, say that right. shit that niggas will catch. Yeah. That's the part about that it. That like, had me saying yeah, it what when people I was don't, listening What to people it don't understand is that even simplicity <laughs> is still an art. Yeah. And it's ma- it's something mas- it's like masterful because you have to know how to be simple but still execute at the same time. So a lot of people hear it and be like, oh, I could do that. And then they'll be saying shit that they'll be able to fill a blink zone. Nah, yeah. You got to make it to where whoever's listening. You, you say universal. Universal. That's the key. Shit, because you dropped the jewel right You dropped there. the gem because um one thing about your shit, you got to listen to that shit two, three, four times. To, to really understand and get everything, all the gems. Yeah. Because this shit that you be saying, you ain't catch the first time or the second time. You hear it the third time. You're like, yo, he just said this Yo, punchline after punchline, right? Just, yeah, the, the triple entendres, the fucking metaphors. Like, yo, you keep all of that in your pen, right? In the time that we in right now, that's not really yeah, I know. praised. And But you never dumb the shit down. Nah, it's fr- like... I, you start feeling away like it's almost frowned upon. Like, oh, he raps like that. Oh, that's old school. Oh, why is he doing? So it's a point where you like, am I crazy? Like, what is this? <laughs> what is hip hop based? Like, what are exactly? We doing? And, yeah. then, and then and then and then August third happens with Jada kissing the verse. Wow! And the whole, oh, damn, and the whole world is talking about a nigga that's really rapping. So that was like the, that was the best thing I, aside from anything that I've done oh, or anybody shit. anybody that I know has done something that was the best as a fan of hip hop that was one of the best things I watched in the last ten years because that that's what needs to be talked about on everyday basis. Reminded basically. everybody, not a not a nigga, not not everybody. a nigga fighting somebody, not a nigga yeah. trolling. We're talking about a nigga that got busy. I seen and a, a lot of people didn't even know that freestyle because it was the freestyle that sent it over the top. Yeah. A lot of people thought it was really a freestyle. That song yeah. came out 10 years yeah, ago. That shit's mad old. Mad old. Like, if you know, I, I said that shit. I was like, yo, if Just they start busting out, if they start busting <laughs> out the mixtape joints, they, they yeah. got that shit on smash. But, but, but that's what I meant about him. Like, and that was back to the shit that I was saying with King Los. Like, not only do I beat niggas in battles because I, I know how to spit the rhymes, I embody hip hop. Like, anybody that knows yeah. hip hop, we come from a competitive place. Kiss, yeah. all them niggas is cool. Yeah. While we on stage, I'm better than you. Yeah. That's, a lot of that's dudes, how it's supposed to be. A lot of dudes now, it's so much ego and so much shit going on, you can't be competitive. Yo, now yeah, you got to yeah. praise a nigga to battle him, or you got to yeah, praise yeah. him. Yo, I think you're very good. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor like that's not bro we never came from that just like what nah. he said i didn't have beef with him nah, but i would approach everybody you shit, rap man, let's battle that. it's not yo i, I think you nice nah. want to rap with me yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. especially right. in new york so when i see niggas get confused at it now like yo why is he saying that because that's that yo, like you talking all facts man yo, that's that's all all from, facts like, like, like me like like me, it just yeah. be about yeah, doesn't make sense. the bullet, man. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like, like, like for instance, like a lot of these new dudes that come up real sick, for instance, he'll tell you, and a bunch of other people seen it, I'll give them advice and all that. Tell them how they should move because aside from me, I know how to take the competitive spirit out and then it's, I want everybody that comes after me to yeah, do better wanna, than me yeah, because wanna, I got the wanna, game to give you all the shit that people didn't tell mm. me. But with all that being said, I never take it personal after I just gave him all the advice in the world and I wake up and see a blog that says I want DNA next. Wow. I don't say, oh, I helped you so yeah, you don't get yeah. to call me out. Nigga, you do the same thing I do, right? You feel you the best? You absolutely should call nigga, me out. Wow. You absolutely should do it. You, if not, then... This nigga, this nigga really to tell you, I brought some young bug here and I was trying to do that, trying to advise him. Some young dude. And I was like, yo, you should sound dope. But, you know, he wasn't feeling what, what he was coming out. I was like, yo, I'm telling you, this should sound right. 
You just got to keep, you know, it, it's not, you know, this nigga thinking he's going to record it and it's going to sound like radio ready right yeah. away. I'm like, that's not how it works. I was like, you got to record it. You got to mix it. There's a lot of shit you got to do. And I was trying to give my man advice. And the way he was coming back at me, like, I wanted to. Yeah. Like, I was ready to go off on this nigga. But I'm like, yo, you know what? This nigga ain't want to. He don't want to accept it. I leave it like it is. You know what it is. He he, he ain't really he ain't really open minded like yeah. he, like he should be. Like he already got his head flying in a fucking cloud. And I always say that in battle rap, I say that with anything. The people that's always gonna go far is the ones that's willing to listen. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. you can't know it all. You just got it. Yup, you got to be open to even, criticism. Even even if you can rap at this point, it's some niggas that I grew up watching, and now when I hit them, I'm like, I can I can now rap them because times have went on. I gotten better. Mm-hmm. But if they still call me. I'm not approaching it like that because you got some shit I don't got. You you were here before I was here. Exactly. So I can learn something no matter if I... I can learn something about rapping because it's sometimes it's people that got the Jews, they just can't utilize them no more. Ooh. So you can tell me some shit to do that I can execute because wow. I'm in it right that now it. that, that you it. might not that can. So dope. I still got to listen to you. You always got to listen and pay homage to the niggas that was there before because that, that's how it's set up. That's how it's designed. Yeah, yeah. When anybody goes out of that, that's when... Cause you can have success without doing it, but you're gonna crash mm. because you're not following. It's just the energy of how it goes. Like, yeah, you know so what I'm saying? it's natural, bro. Right. It's natural vibes. Right, right now, it. right now, you know what I'm saying. I'm still listening to KRS One if he got a story, if he got anything to say. I'm all ears. No matter, Yo. no matter how much I feel like, or somebody, somebody couldn't tell me. You feel me? Because this is somebody that was there at the beginning. Yo, I just heard a joint. I heard a joint a couple days with KRS One, recent joint. Yo, when I heard him, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker for a, for a dude that's in his fifties, he was rhyming like age, age is limitless. Yeah, well, but you got the skill you could do, it. and the way he came out, I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker is like this. Should sound like, this is talking yo, about a new track. He's a teacher, yeah. man. He's a teacher, he's a teacher bro. Yeah, that's what yo, that shit blew my mind when I heard that reason. shit. Like, yeah, he's always, the teacher. And, and I'm not saying like he's not good no more. I'm just saying nah, somebody of man. somebody of that stature. That came out that long ago. For me, I'm listening to everybody that came out before me because they could tell me something that yeah. you know what I'm saying. You don't know. I don't know. And you ain't figured yeah. out yet. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. You was. Damn, I think you you explained all that shit on the last track of the fuck of Evictus, man. Oh, duty free. Yeah, I think you 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 kind of like lay it all out. That's how you ended the whole fucking project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended it like that too because in there I say that I say the line about the uh, the Joe Biden shit. Because I always feel like that. Like, like again, 8 Mile. It's cliche when he starts saying, I am da-da-da, I am da-da-da. But that, that's a key, not only in battle rap, but whenever you're making music. The viewer, the person listening to it, loves the music a thousand times more when you're transparent. So you got to be able to look at it. Like, of course, when I did that Joe Biden ad, it was a money grab. I didn't think it would be as big as it was. When I seen how big how big it was and how much impact I had to influence somebody to do something, I'm like, okay, I made a mistake. I read this wrong, but I'm ha- but I, I never have regrets because it's like a lot of people hide their mistakes. They, they they don't want nobody to see it. They hope it happens behind closed doors. I'm human. I want you to see my mistakes. Cause I'm gonna make a lot more, mm. but I'm never gonna make the same mistake twice. So I can make a thousand. I can make a million. I'm never gonna do it again. And and you gotta be able. That's when you connect with the. The, the listener the most when they see it's transparent. Okay, the same shit I'm doing, this could happen to the person that I think is Superman because they human too. Wow. And a lot of people shy away from that or they won't address it or they embarrass. I wear it because I'm going to wear my wins just like I'm going to wear my losses. That's so, official, man. Tone, and that's that's yeah. very respectable. But, yeah, yo, it. DNA, I, you were talking about um, KRS-One. You were talking about pioneers of this hip-hop shit. And we have a very important question. We got to ask you mm, that. It's time. You're here in the building. Yo, I it's think time. it's time, fellas. It's time. Drop, Yo, we drop, need man. to know your top five. Okay. DNA's top five right oh, now. Right. You heard? Greatest, 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 yeah. 50 Cent influenced me. Ooh. Lloyd Banks, Jada Kiss, Fabulous, uh, Cassidy, Eminem, Big L, Jay Z. It was five, though. Go it was for five. It. He did it a was, maniac. Yeah. <laughs> give him 15. Give him 15. We got to. So ask, what's the five? So we could get five. Top five lyricists, top five artists. Because that's a different list. Mm. Mm. 
Mm, all right. Let's go all with right. top five influences. Influences. Yeah. My top five Your influences. Your top five influences that, that influence that you influence to pick you a pen. You personally. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, my top five influences. That you you always go like Yeah. Fifty, Lloyd Banks, Big L, mm. Eminem, Jadakiss. Wow. Yo, this is this is record time. This is the first time. It came out like that. Like, he already knew it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, saying? yeah, but that's, that's influences. It gets difficult when you ask top nah, five yeah, artists. different top categories. Five Don't get me wrong. Yes. That's the hardest shit to break down. Narrow down five artists, really? Like, yeah. out of thousands, so thousands, so thousands that we got? That's what Man. I'm saying. I got a lot of influence, but that's the top, like, go-to. Nah, yeah. Top five. Yeah. I give you my shit off the top, just like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. But that shit, you know, mm-hmm. it's always like, people want to know, like, yo, who influenced him? Yeah. Like who? Who's the biggest shit that that you? Who's your go tos? Yeah, for like sure. You're fucking, you know, you, you riding, you driving your car, like you never, you ain't skipping nothing. You, that's, that's like yo, I feel it. You feel a certain way that day. That's the yeah. shit you gonna play. So, you know? so that's a mean list though. DNA. I, <laughs> the last time I saw you, um, you know that time that you came up to me. But the last time I saw you was on on the TV at my job. You was in the ES, ESPN. Doing your thing. Mm. Yes, sir. Yo, I felt mad proud, brother. I always wanted to ask you, how did that even come about? Like that whole situation. You want the short story or, or the real story? We got time. We got right, time. We got time. Okay. So uh, what happened is I got an email. Uh, I open the email. The headline says ESPN. I'm like, this is some bullshit. <laughs> some, some spam shit, right? It's spam man. So I open it. He's like, yeah, I'm going to create that ESPN. I'm a big fan of your battles. I want to see you. Um, I want you to be on ESPN. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> like, what do I got to do? So he's like, oh, just give me a call. So he gives me his number. I hit him up. Um, originally, it was supposed to be me, Tay Rock, Hitman, and Sue Surf. Uh, Hitman, I, I, according to the guy, don't call me. I didn't speak to none of these people. Declined it. Uh, Sue Surf got arrested. Oh, shit. Uh, and Tay Rock, for whatever, said no. So at that point, um, he was like, yo, do you have anybody else? At this point, we just need one other person to do it. I'm like, yeah, my, my partner. If I got saying it, Kayshawn. Wow. So at that point, me and Kayshawn go up to uh, ESPN Studios um, in Connecticut. We uh, performed this the year, the Cavaliers face the Warriors. And uh, I forgot, I think Sean was the Cavaliers, I was the Warriors, and uh, we had a battle, uh, like a demonstration, because he wanted us to be able to show the people that work at ESPN we can do this battle without profanity and cursing, so it could be something on television. Mm -hmm. So we do the battle, they love it. Shout out to Roland Matthews, this is the guy that contacted me from the beginning. At the end of the battle, he asks his manager, he says, what do you think about this battle? He says, I was great, get back to what you... What's the main objective, though? They're cool. Roland Matthews isn't having it. He goes ahead of his boss to his boss and says, yo, I have this brewing idea. Such and such is not pushing a button on it. These guys got 300 million views combined. Why are we not bringing them to ESPN? Wow. His boss gets furious and barks on Roland's boss and says, why are you not doing it? (laughs) Got to get done sometimes. Got to get done. They got to be here. Why are you not doing that? (laughs) Two days later, Roland gets fired. Woo, oh, damn. <laughs> and that's, you. that's your connect, right? Yeah, you Roland get people. Roland gets fired. Um for some charges that was not even accurate. They just made something up to get him out of here wow. cuz his boss was mad that he overruled him. Oh, oh, over so me shit. me being how I am even though and then they, and then they petty. Right when they do that, they email me. Yeah, we're ready to move forward. Wow. That's some corporate bullshit. So I damn. so I so I call him being the person that I am. I'm like, "Yo, um you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even have this opportunity if it wasn't for you. You let me know what you want me to do. You want me to do it, I won't answer the email. He said, if you don't answer the email, I got fired for no reason. Ooh. Sure, word, word, word. So I answered the email. We wound up getting on ESPN. And it was short-lived because of that. Because he was the guy that, he was a hip-hop head. He knew exactly what he wanted. And now they were just doing it to spite him. Wow. So it's kind of a... This is not a long-term thing, but we're going to do this now mm-hmm. just to get him upset since this was his thing. I believe if he was still at the job, we would still be on there now. Well, some regular because shit, Because yeah. we even shot a commercial for basketball. It never got released. But we got paid, so 
I'm not yeah. mad at that. And I wanted to ask you one thing <laughs> though, because a lot of times I've seen it, and there was a beat behind it. But y'all want to go into the beat? That too. Like what? Why wasn't that too? When Roland did it, it was supposed to be a cappella. When they got in terms of it, they changed it around and just started doing shit. What like the if they fuck? wanted it on beat, that we said that. Like you should just let us have the beat so we can rhyme to it. They put the beat in there in post production. Like so nah, I can't try to make it. They can't try to do make that. it all Disney because ESPN yeah. ran by yeah, Disney. Yeah, so so yeah, it was a lot of things that was like, but it was a great experience though, and and we elevated the culture for battle rap being on ESPN. That Hell was great. yeah, that, that well, shout, out, shout, shout out, shout shout out to Kayshawn, shout out to Roland. It's, yo, sir, shot that? No, he shot something that he was. I think he was. He was shooting something mm. where. No, not, not 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 anything that I did with ESPN. Mm. Shot Surge shot a lot of videos for me though yeah, on yeah. Silver Cup project. Shout out to Surge, but yeah. Oh, that was a dope mixtape too, man. Good luck, good wow, luck. Queens heavy right there. What was what was your man's name? Surge ESPN. Oh, Roland. 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 Fuck Roland's boss. Yeah, man. Yeah, his <laughs> boss above him. <laughs> I heard. Yo, for real, that's going shit on the game. That's grinding. Fucking up a man's image. Like my man had a he had a image he had an image for and then. They shot him down, but meanwhile they still ran with it to rub him a certain way. That's yeah, you know that's how hey. that shit goes. Crazy, <laughs> dirty, dirty ass game. Dirty, dirty game is a dirty, spiteful motherfuckers, man. And um, because they ain't come up with it, that's why. That's what it Word. is. They try to take, <laughs> you know, they take, they take everything. They take land. They take ideas. They take everything. But um, my brother, shit. I think it's time, fix. You think it's time? Yo, I think it's time. We got brother. a legend in here. I mean, yo, this is the show. And that's it, because usually we have a show and prove. You ain't got nothing to prove, my brother, because you the thank man. You, thank you, thank word. you. Crown City, yo, Corona's finest right here, you thank know what you, I'm saying? You. Out the soil. Yo, it's time to show and prove, baby. DNA. You got to fill in the blanks. Let's get it. Uh. Yo, I got a story and you all gotta listen. My mom was doing dishes when I walked in the kitchen. Sort of look all on her face that something's different. Was worried about my uncle. Three days he's been missing. He moved out the hood. His situation's comfortable. In love with the Cosbys, was living like the comfortable. Job was A1. His family is beautiful. Really not trying to make arrangements for a funeral. Gotta find out what's going on and it's killing me. Watch Lifetime. This an unsolved mystery. mystery. You gotta know the status. Did he have it? Did they shoot him with a ratchet? I know I can't see him in that casket. Finally got info, wasn't running with the bread. He fucked this man's wife, they put some money on his head. Hey. He knew homie from way back, did he voice? He wanted revenge, so death was his payback. Tell so you have the story, the rest you fill it in. Tell you I have the story, the rest you gotta fill it in. How many I got so right out of here? Story, out of the rest you fill it in. But you a literate nigga, you can't read between the lines. Yo, this story's all about the money Two kids put the books down cause they ain't wanna study Their parents was fucked up, they tired of looking Money Some of youth jobs was child like Money they, they started moving work to connect, wanted half back No bonder, they just putting drugs in their That's right. They started killing off the product, now they got the school And after gym they used to stash it in the Locker room Somebody stole it, they can't take that loss The connect's about to lose it cause they came up short they try to reason with him, he says, nah, forget that. Amber alert, no money, you get kidnapped. Tried to pray to God, but it only got worse. They caught the kid on Sunday while he's going to church. church. He had the lighter fluid and said, I can't stand the liar. He watched Denzel and now it's a fire. So you have the story, the rest you fill the it rest in. The rest you fill it in. How many I got in the second verse gets tricky? I tell you have the story, the rest you fill it in. You can't read between the lines. Yo, two brothers used to kick it and smoke late Bumping Wu-Tang and their favorite was Snowflake. Tired of being broke, they went back to their old ways Watching first quarter turn to a cold They went to the dice game, they on their shit Kept getting C-low, rolling four, five, six They up a bunch of bands, not a squad trying to dip One more roll, three fives, niggas started to Said I know them dice fake, bitch, give me them now Bow, nobody move, nigga, get on up They all froze up, so he went in their pocket Said, give me the keys and give me your wallet Somebody made a forced move, so they shot rapidly Blew his brains out and turned him to a casualty The cops showed up, but they only cuffed the brother The other one stood with him, he was undercover So you have to show me the rest, you fill it in Yeah, fill in the blanks, y'all Evictus on all streaming platforms right now Go get it We here Woo, yo 
We had to change the show and prove to show and tell because, yo, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yo, hey, man, the, filling the blanks. Filling man, the blanks. Shout out to Pat the Pools. Fucking, we'll yo, shout right out to now. Pat. You know what I'm what? saying? Super lyricist. Yo, plus a super lyricist equals super track. Yo, and um, we, we, we had the crowd participating. You know what I mean? Yo, that's that, what that's it is. Why, that's that's hip hop. Yeah. That's yeah, hip hop. Yeah, that's why I said, that's why I said that one is one of those ones because whenever you perform it, it's never going to get old because the whole thing about it is once you, everybody in life, you go to uh, hip hop, gang culture, whatever, it all it all stems from people feeling like they want to be a part of something. Mm. Yeah. That's just, that's just the simple mm-hmm. mathematics of urban culture. Everything that's successful is when you find a way to make people feel like they're a part of something. So, that's why people on, go to shows. Yeah. On that song, you're a part of the song. Yeah. The listener is on the song. DNA, I had to ask you a question, man. Because I've been snooping through your YouTube and I've uh-huh. been going in and out. Stalking. And, and I've seen that he, he's been working on his own joint. He has his own show. You know, he mm. has his guests and yes. everything. Uh, yes. Champagne with the champ. So I just kind of yeah. wanted to ask you what, uh, what's the vow and how it came about. Uh, Breakfast with the champ. So in battle rap, the champ was like one of my author egos. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like DNA is very professional. You know what I'm saying? Proper etiquette. The champ. He's not. He says whatever he wants. He's drunk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that became a funny character that a lot of people liked. And then I just wanted to do the show where it's like people come on here. You know what I'm saying? And, and I still, one thing I'm big on is integrity. So on my show, we can get crazy. We're talking about battle rap. But my rules are I don't care who's sleeping with who, who did what. Anything that doesn't pertain to battle rap, mm. I don't cover it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm, I'm trying gotcha. to clean up. The media in battle rap, you know what I'm saying? It's just TMZ and Shade Room and yeah. shit. And it's like, I only care about the essence. Like, even when I argue with uh with people about rap, I never make it about money. Because it's like, that's something you're supposed to have. If I've been here X amount of years, and you've been here X amount of years, I should have more money than you. Or if my mind just works in a different way than you, but that has nothing to do with the topic. The topic is rapping. So that's what the show is always about. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Who wants to battle who? Call them out here. Do the face off here. Set it up here. What's going on? Everything else I try to stay away from. So, nah, so good. far, you know what I'm saying? On Caffeine, like, they just did a uh, results recently. And I like my show is top two shows. So mm. Yo, Yo, that's Yo. Ill, man. I feel like that uh, lets your fans get closer to you, more personal, mm-hmm. kind of like see who you really are, you yeah. know? Because yeah. they'll see you in a, you know, in a battle. They'll, they'll hear your tracks. But when they see you, like, just being your, you know, rare just form. like chilling. Yeah, in rare form. Yeah. Like Nas said, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, official, Back. man. Shout out to Nas. That Yo. King Disease too is yeah. crazy. That shit is fire, though. Word. But we, shoot, we said it here. The Invictus that. is better. God damn it, Nas. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. No disrespect, Nas. <laughs> nah, it's, it's all love. It's all love, man. Yo, but nah, <laughs> definitely, man, the Invictus, your whole catalog, you know what I'm saying, from the battles to, you know what I'm saying, the mixtapes, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you got man shit on um, fucking uh, Dat Piff back in the day. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, back in the day. Right right, yeah. right, right now I got a whole nother project ready. Ready to launch. Yeah, it's a, it's a soundtrack off my documentary that I'm about to do soon. You got a Speak title for that. it? Speak yeah, on that yeah, documentary. Yeah, the, yeah, the, uh, the documentary's called The Lost DNA Files because it's, um, when I got back up with my producer on my 30th birthday, he got wild footage of me battling in Corona back in the day and wow. in the studio a bunch of stuff tracks stuff that nobody seen so i was like i'm gonna do a whole documentary and then um you know what i'm saying growing up coming up we always had a group uh it changed multiple times it was full clip then fully focused then it was um fdb it was like a lot of different we know about that. 24 yeah, 7 high, high, <laughs> all, changing all names all type of crazy shit yeah. so the people that I was in the group, like the core members of each group, uh, we, we got back in the studio. We did like six, seven new songs. So that's going to be on a documentary. That's so it, when people huh? watch it and be like, oh, okay, he was rapping with him. Then when they go hear it, all right, yeah, that's what that's what yo, we're going to try. So, yeah. Yo, show. big shout out to, to Big Lip Kev. Yo, I seen him in one of the, um, doc- <laughs> yo, Big Lip Kev, that's my man, yo. Big oh, Lip Kev. God. Shout yo, out to Yo, he, matter of right fact, there. he's the one that put me on to you. Word. Back in the day, he, he, he was like, yo, 
Yo, some dude DNA gonna battle my man's blah blah. He was promoting some dude on. Flex. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Big Lip Kev. Yo, it's a small world, yo. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's my yo, man right there, Big Lip, Kev, Yo, man. elementary right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Elementary. <laughs> yeah. But nah, but that was that that battle. Y- y'all put it up on YouTube. Yeah. That was one of the first joints mm-hmm. incorporated with the documentary. Yeah, I started releasing stuff, but then I stopped because I'm like, I'm giving away too much good yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta save it. That was so I did like shit. three weeks, and then I chilled. I'm like, yo, they 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 gonna see too much before the documentary. <laughs> yeah, yo, got my, that shit in the top. man, listen. I definitely um, I just want to give a quick shout out to to my man Danny. Yo, big shout, shout out to Danny. Danny. You know what I'm saying? He made it happen. Danny. My brother Dad, Danny. Um, yo, Dad, we're truly blessed to have you here right definitely, now. Definitely, man. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Thank you, thank you. Shit, man. I think this was a great fucking show, man. Nah, nah, off, off the hook. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Um, It's been a long time coming, brother. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Corona Queens and um, Corona is a lot of talent. Corona, yo, matter of fact, we got Rays in the building. Shout out to Rays. You know Shout saying? out to Face. Shout out to Bugs. Face. Bugs, yo. Bugs on the beats. Shout Motherfucking out to, uh, beats are fucking ridiculous. Shout out to Trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out to Emda. Yeah, whole, Corona got a lot of talent. That's definitely. the whole point of, like, that's why we started doing this. Yeah, just you know, cause we we've been doing this shit for 15 years. We've been in the, in this building for 15 years, and we know you know through the years we met mad dudes from Corona that got it like that. Yeah, that know how to rock. Yeah, and but they don't get that exposure. And we're like, yo, ain't nobody exposing them on this level, niggas that we know from the. Yeah. Earth. So I was like, this is this is what really influenced this shit. Yeah. That we doing. It's fire though. Y'all gotta keep and, it up. And you know, having you on looks, here looks. is, you know. Yeah, it's, this it's is. It solidifies and yeah, cements it. Yeah, man, bro. And letting niggas know, like, corona's real. Yeah, as much as I can, I always try to, you know what I'm saying, show love to anybody that I may have worked with in the past in corona, anybody that's new in corona, because, yeah. Yo, no doubt, man. There's a lot of game in corona, man. Yo, yeah. on that note, man, thank you again, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Much. Yeah. Much love, much success. Keep rocking, yes, doing it for yeah. the culture, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? This is the hip hop advocate show, man. Yo, it's one love, baby. DNA. DNA. It's- Was it 
sister that he heard calling. She crying, all in distress, and had the worst morning. Cops suspect a boyfriend moving with the work on him. Said they pulling up to the crib and got a search warrant. Asked her if it's true, she said nah. It's just his past. Handed her a gun, shoot first, ask questions last. That night they pulled up to the spot. It was like seven cops. They ain't addressed themselves either. It was just a knock. Kicked the door down, started shooting. Wasn't liking that. Had something tailor made for him and they fired back. These the heroes of my era that made a change. And I won't stay silent. I'ma say their name. I understand that time is running out. 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 Running out as hastily as niggas run from the man. 